Right. Logan, you ready to go to your dark hotel? No, he's not ready for that. He's never ready. It's a German. He should be going with us. He's, he's a German shepherd. Should be going to Germany. All right, Logan, I think it's time to go. <laughs> in the cardboard box field for nine hours. This is ridiculous. I'm getting the credit card ready to go. Tell them to swipe that thing for upgrade ever, ever again. Five hour layover. Get in here. We tight as a box. Timmy's over here big as Hulk Hogan squeezed into a UPS box. people it's uh, 3 35 in the morning here in Germany and I can't sleep that jet lag is not a joke I'm I'm, I'm not playing I'm sitting here watching a, a, a German soccer game playing Scotland here uh, at 3 35 in the morning so after the game I'm gonna just go ahead and take a shower and start the day to I'll get back with you guys and uh, when I finally get going Hopefully I can get out of this jet lag. It's a horrible thing. Come to another block of black and white in Alaska. This time from Germany. That's and right. We are in Heidelberg. We, it, we are doing a day trip and we are up here at the castle. In the background you can see the city of Heidelberg and yeah, we've been there years ago, yeah. maybe 17 years ago. And um, it's super busy, a lot of tourists mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, we will take you with on our German journey this time. Um, yeah, remind them, uh, we haven't been here since the kids were small. We've come here for like Saturday afternoon walk or anything like that, just to get out of the house. So this, the kids are pretty much grown. This is like last time uh, we went to this castle. So now we're here years later, which is 17 years? Yeah, maybe. What are you doing? Well, if you live in uh, Oregon, you know what I'm doing. This is uh, a refund. They call it the Fund in Germany. You take these bottles and uh, get money back.
hunt we turn in or their little slip we turn in later on at the checkout. Scissors. For who? For the little girl. Okay, around and cut her finger off. <laughs> As if somebody cuts their finger off with these scissors, I don't know. That's it. Well, <laughs> that's so, some so, talent. So, so y'all got free medical care over here, so. Yeah, free medical care, so don't worry. Yeah. Well, it's not really free, but. You just, pay it through your taxes. It's, it's here. a little bit different packed. Okay. Um, and we need some glue. Glue, okay. You go ahead and find that. I'm gonna go look at the uh, salad. My favorite, Ludwurst, in the can. I'll take either way, the one from the butcher or the... Um, so German stores don't have to have a separation between the al uh, alcoholic section and the food section. Some have a separation, but it's not mandatory. We also buy drinks in those racks. Um, all of that will be returned, so there is no trash or anything. Um, they all will go back to the store when they empty. Is this your new friend? Yeah, the German cat. It's 
Somehow I always got along with these German people. Except you. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. <laughs> well, she doesn't get along with me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't, she don't like you so much. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know. Yeah. Well. Greg and I are in Alzai. Alzai is the next little town next to the village I came from. So this town is four kilometers um, away from the village I'm raised in. And um, so this is where all the doctors are and uh, the shops and um, the schools. I went to school here, um, secondary school. Um, I had to take the bus and later on I bicycled. So like I said, four kilometers, um, not far at all. But I have to say it got super busy. The way I grew up here, when I grew up here, it was not as busy. Okay. Grew in different ways as well. There's a lot of uh, people with a different skin color here now. A lot more than it was when I came. Yeah, it got a little bit more diverse um, from the time when I grew up here. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, and uh, yeah. But also a little has a little bit of American touch in so it's even some places. The job center is now called job center. They use a lot of English words within the German language, which I think it's really interesting. I don't know why we have to do this, but um, yeah, it used to be the Arbeitsamt, and a few other English words made their way into the German language. And yeah, we are living in America. There was a song actually from yes, Rammstein. Rammstein was the band called it. Yeah, but we keep walking and uh, take you with. <laughs> Kaiserslautern. K Town. K Town. Big military base there. Or well, the whole area has a lot of US bases. And, and then we will visit um, some relatives down there from Craig's side. Well, you might have to explain that because they see them folks, they don't know if they know blood relatives. Yes, so you might break that down a little bit. It's Craig's step aunt from his stepmother, the sister. Yeah. That will make a little bit more sense. Who's also German like you. So the way, the area we are in right now is the Pfalz. It's the same state um, I'm living in. The only difference is this area is more wooded. Um, the one, the area I'm living in is has a lot of um, vineyards and yeah. So this reminds me a little bit more of Alaska. Nice sunny day in Germany. Didn't expect to go swimming on this particular vacation, but uh, my father-in-law loves to swim. Wife did too back in the day. We just don't have big access to a pool in Alaska on a regular basis, so for now. 
I think they're doing a lot of recreational work there, at least on, on the base. I don't know what they're doing in town, but here in Germany, it's full swing out here with the swimming pool in the summer. At the Rhine, the river, and we are looking for a way to take a river tour. So the lady was super helpful. Um, however, it's not really a round tour they offer, it's more like a transportation along the river um, to all these different um, uh, villages and towns. And um, but we the weather is not really great, so we decided to scratch the, the boat tour. Um, and we're gonna walk and maybe see if we can find some castles. celebrating my parents golden wedding anniversary and mom's 70th birthday and we're leaving here to a neighboring town 